with number 10. Look at this picture right here. This looks pretty normal and simple, right? Well, we have a girl and a guy. Well, who do you guys think is sitting in the chair? Most of the people are thinking the girl is sitting in the chair and the guy is the one that's behind her. But when you look closely into the picture, you can actually see that the girl has hairy legs and it's like, okay, oh my God, is she not shaving? But if you look again carefully at the picture, you'll actually see the girl is actually the one standing up behind the guy who is actually sitting down. Now at number nine, check this out. This guy has the hottest legs ever and he brought his best heels into work with them. So the bartender in the picture is currently serving someone. Well, if you look at the picture again, you'll notice that there's actually a mirror there and this was a well-timed picture. So I'm not really sure if it was planned or if someone saw this, took out their phone and snapped it. But the bottom half of this man actually belongs to a reflection and it's a reflection of a woman who is actually receiving the drink. Well, I guess that's a good thing because I thought this guy was skipping leg day because every day is arm day. Okay, we do something totally magical in a number eight. But take a look at this picture right here. This is a boat that is floating on this beautiful blue water. Some might think that this is a hovercraft or maybe this is a boat from Harry Potter. But no, nope, this is just a regular boat doing its thing. But if you guys look again, it's actually the boat's shadow on the bottom of the water and the water is just so clear you can see the shadow. So I guess this magic trick is up. Okay, moving right along, currently in at number Okay, this picture right here is actually super confusing. And looking at it twice, you still may not be able to figure this one out. It's so confusing because we don't know whose body is where and whose legs belong to who. Let me explain to you guys what I'm talking about. The woman on the very right, well, she could be the one holding the woman in the middle or she can actually be the one being held. The woman in the middle, we can question the same thing. Is she the one wearing the skirt or is she the one with the jeans? Let me know what you guys think. Who is carrying who? Wow, okay, look at this one. This comes in to number six. Is this real life right now? I'm a straight man, but damn, look at these legs. He for sure has taste in booty shorts and high heels. And did I really just say that? Well, this for sure is a picture you have to look at twice because wow. And you might wanna question your sexuality. Well, looking again at this picture, you can see that this guy is the one actually sitting down, but sadly, those aren't his legs. It actually belongs to a girl who doesn't seem to have a head. I mean, try to look for it right now. It's not there. This is almost like the other picture with the guy who was on the couch and the girl was behind him. Okay, and at number five, let's take a look at what we have. Do you guys see it? Oh! What? Okay, so what you guys are looking at right now is, uh, can you guys see that girl's left arm that is very hairy and she skips leg day because every day arm day for her because damn, that is big. She's been working out. Maybe her friend should show her a shaver so she can like, ee. I don't know, but unless she's into it, unless she's into the hairy stuff. Well, if you look at this picture again, you'll notice that uh, actually, yeah, that's not her left arm. It's actually a guy's leg. Look a little bit closer and those are his shorts and it's not the girl's dress or her shirt. But I'm sure these girls took like 10 different pictures for the night so they can just upload like a better photo of themselves and not this one. To number three. Okay, so whoa, this guy is, is he really gonna take a crap right now? I know this isn't his leg because we've already learned in this list that pictures play tricks on us. It took some time to figure out like where his body and where his legs are, but I found it. So here's his upper body and uh, those aren't his legs. This is actually his bum, but it's kind of confusing because if you guys look at his upper body in proportion to his lower, it seems so long, like that's that can't be his bum. And when you try to look for his legs, I, I couldn't find it, where are they? And it's almost like the woman and the guy are fused together. All right, up next, in at number two, we have a shocking image, and I promise you guys, it's not nudity, I promise. I know a lot of your parents probably watch my videos with you guys, and you guys are like, oh, what's he gonna show me? But, boom, here it is, there's no going back. We have a giant boob slip! But parents, don't kill me, I'm only kidding, it's not a boob slip, her boob didn't just explode out of it. If you actually look closely, you'll notice her arm is actually bent. So her arm's kind of like this and her boob is her elbow. So for you guys who are turned on right now, I would get turned off unless, unless your fantasy is like elbows. In at number 10, we have this picture right here. It looks like two people, you know, hugging it out. But when you really analyze this picture, 
you can't really figure out like whose head belongs to who. And it almost makes you think like there's a third person involved in this hug. But you can't see that person's arms or upper body at all. So this head actually might belong to one of these two girls. What do you guys think? Does the head belong to the one on the left or the one on to the right? We have another head mystery in at number nine. This one is even harder to figure out and you guys might have to look multiple times on this picture. But in the picture we can see a father who is holding his son. But it looks like the father's head is on the child's body. If this picture is real and it's not photoshopped, I mean this is mind blowing. So I like, I analyzed the crap out of it. I zoomed in and I figured it out. But when I was first looking at it, I'm not sure where like the little boy's head went. Or maybe the little boy just looks really old because he's in the sun. But when you guys look really closely, I'll zoom in the picture for you guys. You'll notice the son's face and you can kind of see the father in the background. So the nose and mouth belong to the father, everything else is a little kid. Do you guys see it? Okay, up next, we got some magic. It's not Harry Potter, and it's for sure not Photoshop, but this is a perfectly timed picture in at number eight. This is like one in a million type picture, but there seems to be this woman giving a speech to some people on the beach. Well, you guys can see the platform of the cloth thing that she's standing on. Yeah, it's floating, I kid you not. This woman is giving a speech on how to levitate. Okay, maybe not. Let me show you guys this picture again. You'll notice that this magic is only an illusion, it's tricking our eyes. And this picture is, well, if you look again, it looks like she's floating because of a shadow underneath her. Just like in the part one video right over here, there was that boat that had like, it cast a shadow on the bottom and the water was so clear. It looked like the boat was floating, but it's not. So sort of like this. So the shadow though, it's not her shadow. It's actually a shadow of a flag, which makes this more confusing. Laying its way into number seven, another optical illusion. Well, in this picture, we kind of have to ask ourselves, can people lie on water? Well, what if you laid down a certain way and like you distributed your weight, so you just like, you're just there. But I'm not talking about like floating on water, I'm talking about like you're on top of the water. Well, here's the picture right here. I'm thinking this is like seconds before this person did a belly flop and after the picture their belly's gonna be like so red. Or maybe he can be laying on a rock or a sandbag. I'll leave the imagination up to you guys and let's move on to the next picture that you should probably look at twice. Okay, I don't know if this next one is a water illusion or if this girl is like 25 feet tall. I'm going with this option. More plausible. Well, this comes in to number six. Check this picture out. It looks like she's been eating a lot of vegetables and she was able to grow this big. I mean, scientists should be researching her now. Also, she learned the way of the Jedi Force because she taught herself how to sit on top of water. It's either that or she learned how to really, you know, time this photo. So what's going on in here is the little girl sitting really close and everything else is just far in the distance in the background, making things look smaller, making her look like a giant. So it's no Photoshop or anything, it's just a really good timed photo. Okay, next up we have this, but whoa, oh my God. Well guys, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to show you guys a private part. I mean, I try to keep this as clean as possible, but you know what, because this video is pictures you should look at twice. I'm gonna show you guys the picture again. We're in at number four. We have this very adorable puppy who loves to float in his bubble. This is a miniature dog who is half bubble man and half dogmeister. And I really like this picture. I was a little confused at first. How can a dog be so little? It's just so cute. And he's floating in a bubble. I'm not sure how you guys felt about this picture, but we know this is pictures you gotta look at twice. And when you look at it, it's just an optical illusion again and a really well-timed photo. He probably wanted this picture taken to put it in his doggy scrapbook. Okay, from there, I promise you guys there's a lot more shocking images. Well, right now we're in at number three. And don't click away, but boom, here it is. Here's the next photo. It's this woman who has her boobs out. But this one is a little bit of hairy. But I guess, you know what, a boob is a boob. But sadly for us, it's not hers, no! It belongs to someone else. And I'm not talking about like she got a boob implant. If you guys look at this picture again, it's actually a man's chest in the mirror that was perfectly timed. I'm not sure whose idea this was. There's a little smirk in the woman's face like she was the one that planned it. She was like, you know what? I want people to think that my boobs are just hairy, like just werewolf style. And then they took this picture and now they show their kids. Look kids. Okay, and at number two, this picture right here is very innocent for people who don't have a sick mind. But you know what? That's not the world we live in. We all, you know, have a little thoughts, a little dirty thoughts up there once in a while. So for most of you guys looking at this picture right here, you guys are seeing it right away for what it is. For others, you have to look twice. Well, there's a giant tree penis 
and this girl is just relaxing on the tip of it. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people took pictures in front of this, making the picture as, in, as inappropriate as possible. There is probably an endless amount of ways to get creative with this one and post it on Facebook for their friends and family to see. If I were to post this on Facebook, I'd probably try to, you know, block mom or hide it from mom and grandma because that is just too far. And at number 10, we have this kid with a huge hand. Look at his hand. Now this kid looks like a wizard, so it only makes sense that he has a giant hand. Look how smug he is about it and look how proud his dad is. I mean, what a guy. But oh, wait, actually, that isn't his hand, that's his adult father's hand. Weird. This is really cool. In at number nine, we have this van based optical illusion. At first, when I looked at this picture, I thought, oh, okay, that's just clearly two cars hanging out there, nothing weird about this. But oh, then I realized that that sports car is painted onto the van. It looks awesome. It really looks like there are two cars, but there is only one car. Now, the van in question is advertising vehicle wraps, and based on this picture, I have to say, I am sold. In at number eight, we have this human-headed, soft-bellied beast. What is going on here? Now this is a great picture. At first it looks like an exhibitionist dog man with a human head. What an absolute bro. Also, shout out to the stockings hanging over the fireplace. Holla Christmas, see you soon in maybe like 11 months. In at number seven, we have Grandad's Big Day. And that's not the only thing that's big. It must be nice to be head of a big family. You have a bunch of kids, they have a bunch of kids. You pose for a family photo, but you really wanna highlight what made it possible. And that is your massive balls. Grandad, you hooligan, put them away. But oh wait, it's actually somebody else's knees behind him. Whew, could have got really inappropriate there for a while. In at number six, we have this lady with three legs. Now it actually took me a really long time to figure this picture out. I was looking at it thinking, oh my god, she's got three legs. I don't understand what is this wizardry and trickery. But then I realized, I looked a little closer. Do you guys see it yet? Yep, she's holding a vase, but it wasn't very obvious to begin with. I was like, three legs, what? In at number four, we have this two-headed beast. Now this picture really does look like a two-headed dog, and I think I'm okay with that. Like, I'm a huge fan of dogs, so two heads double the fun, right? You could throw two balls at one time and then watch as they tried to fight to get each one of them. That would be great. For me, it took a little while to see how this picture worked. At first, I was thinking, okay, well, it's obviously not a two-headed dog, but where is the second dog's legs and tail and stuff? Then I realized it's actually going through the legs of the owners. Sneaky. Getting leggy in at number three, we have this mutant with a leg for an arm. Like seriously, is this a leg armed lady just doing a casual spot of camping? And more importantly, how does she walk? We see her sitting down right now, but does she like gallop along on her leg arms or does she use her arm legs? I'm so confused. But uh oh, we're all upset. She isn't actually a mutant. This is just a trick of the picture. She's actually leaning down to touch her foot, making it look like her arm is her foot, but it's not. So in at number one, we have this tiny man riding a lady and he's really proud. So I actually love this picture. I can't stop looking at it. And it's like Landon would say, is this real life right now? I wish it was, but unfortunately not. But look how proud and majestic he is to be on top of his noble steed. That black stripe on the lady's dress really does look like his leg and the bench looks like his shoe. I love the way he's got his arm on the side of the boat because it looks like he's like, giddy up lady, off I go. And the best thing about it is his face. He could be a knight, a brave knight, going into battle on his human lady beast. But unfortunately, it is just angle trickery. But let's just pretend it's real, just for like a minute, okay? And at number 10, and we have Girls Night In. Oi oi, what's happening here? Girls Night In just got a little bit cheeky, if you know what I'm saying. Like, this is what happens when us girls hang out with each other. We just don't wear pants because, you know, why would we? Oh, but wait, it's actually an arm crease, not her butt. Disappointing for some. In at number nine, we have this piece of falconry chaos. Now guys, when you looked at this picture first off, did you see what was happening? Because I didn't, I had to look at this twice. It looks like everyone's just out having fun in the sun, but oh wait, is that an owl about to fly into the camera? Uh oh. Watch out, Mr. Owl. On closer inspection, I love this picture. Look at the guy sitting down there with the black hair. His facial expression is priceless. He's like, okay, owl going by and you know, 
every day that owl is hustling. In at number 8 we have a man bursting out of another man's stomach. Or is he? What the tweed blazers is going on here? Is that a man bursting out of a stomach? This is chaos. But oh wait, it's just some classic tomfoolery. It's two guys wearing separate parts of one outfit. Oh well. It does make for an awesome picture. In at number 7 we have this giant bird. Why hello there bird, why are you looking so self assured? Is it because you're massive and you're obviously about to eat this teeny tiny man? What a lunch. But have no fear seaside revellers, on second look this isn't a shoreline devil menace, it's actually a seagull on a wall. The power of perspective. I like this though. Big birds, would you be freaked out? I don't know. At number 6 we have this leggy legster. Nice legs sir, also how tall are you, why are you so big, how do you get your legs so smooth? But oh wait, is that a second person on the bench with you? I am fooled, I had to look at this just so many times. Getting rudy nudy here at number 5, who forgot their pants to the beach? This guy. Who knew it was that kind of beach? Hello there sir. Casual lads having the best time on the beach, but Mark you were supposed to bring your swimming shorts not come out naked, oh my goodness you menace, just pose for the picture anyway. But oh wait, it's actually a leg, maybe he's not naked. Although I strongly uphold that he could be naked behind the leg because we can't see him, here's hoping. In at number 3 we have this red shorts loving gorilla. You know that awkward moment where you turn up to a party and somebody else is wearing the same outfit as you? That but at the zoo. I feel like they're actually the right size to clothes swap here which is a little bit awkward. But oh wait, it is a reflection, the guy is sitting back to back with the gorilla and the reflection of the glass is making it look like he's wearing the clothes, but he's not. Mystery solved. Ok so guys with the top 2 I have decided to pick 2 really normal looking pictures for you and this is a game of you having to see what's wrong. You may need to look at them more than twice. In at number 2 we have this perfectly normal picture of a shop selling puppies. Puppies! Look at them they're so cute, I think they're chocolate labrador puppies, love them. But what else is this shop selling? Seen it yet? Nope. A baby! Yep, right back there you can see a baby in a pen, hopefully he is also not for sale. Ok guys so we have reached that point in our top 10 pictures you have to look at twice part 4. Who can believe there have been 40 pictures that you have had to look at more than once, it is cray cray. So I have chosen number 1 because it actually literally makes no sense and the person who printed this should probably get fired. In at number 1 we have this freaky family. Aren't they having a lovely time amid the glory of a mid season fleece sale? Who wouldn't be? But wait, what is going on with dad's hands? He's got not one, not two, but three. Forget saving money at Target, why not capitalise on having three hands? I mean, wow. But you know what, that said maybe there is a creepy lurker in the back background, just you know, touching mum. I for one think it's a bit of a photoshop error, always awkward. I love that this went to print and went in an actual catalogue though. Gold! Ok at number 10 I'm looking at it in the monitor here, what? <laughs> What is this? How is this guy wearing a mask? I'm very confused right now. It looks elastic, but I'm just I don't know how he got it on his head. And I know I should be focusing on the weird figure in the back in like the 17th century clothes who looks 100% ghost-like, but I'm too focused on this guy's face to even be scared by what the hell's happening in the background. Okay. Okay, apparently he cut up in a bouncy rubber ball and covered his face with it, which I don't even understand how he did, but props to him first of all, I'm impressed. Second Secondly, now we can talk about the ghost in the back. Ok if I was a ghost and I came back from the dead and saw this human I was haunting pulling this kind of crap, I'd be like no, send me back to the grave, I did not sign up for this. Ok at number 9 we have this girl doing her makeup in the mirror, this is a very 2007 esque picture I feel and it seems pretty normal, I can't really see anything, scanning, let's see what I can find. Oh ok ok, ok in the mirror, ok so the girl is doing her makeup and there's like the, this is a very faint face in the mirror, it's not really a face, it's more like a demon ghost sort of thing and it's very freaky that she's, she, this is in her room, is it her room, is it someone else's room where this figure is haunting this room, I'm very confused. But the ghost looks absolutely fuming like how dare you use a shade of blush, you have any idea what you're doing, like I don't know why this thing is angry but I feel very sorry for the girl cause she's just innocently just there doing her makeup really, <laughs> getting haunted. Okay, 
number eight is this portrait of this Asian woman. I think it's just a picture of her. Okay, seemingly this picture looks fine, but it's actually not because I just saw her feet. Wow, okay, at first glance, I was like, there's a mirror behind her. Usually with these pictures, the reflection would be like her own face looking back at her or something like that. And I just thought the freaky thing would be in the mirror, but it's actually her feet. And I, I, I know in like some Asian cultures, it's like aesthetically nice looking to have really small feet and then like they do feet binding as well. But I just assumed your feet would just stay really small. I didn't know they would actually change shape like that. I mean, like how are her toes even folded over like that? And like her big toe kind of just looks like a cone. Like how does she wear shoes? That's what I really want to know. But also that must be really painful. So I really do feel for her. I'm sorry that I had to use her as an example. Okay, at number seven now we have a woman posing with her dog and the dog really just doesn't look like it wants to be in the photo at all. The woman's so happy posing. The dog's like, no human, I just don't want to be here. Do you not understand? And I mean, is that the freaky thing like the dog's eyes I'm confused okay okay okay. so there's a figure behind the glass section of her front door there's just like someone on her front porch just there I'm so why do these figures always look like they're people from a different century like they never look like modern people just haunting you and lurking around it's always people from like 40 decades ago like I don't understand that's probably why the dog looks like he's just sh at himself because he probably sees and senses and feels the ghost I've never had a dog but apparently when they bark at nothing continuously they're actually barking at like spirits or ghosts is that true? Let me know. I've only ever had cats and they don't do that. <laughs> okay, at number six, we have this girl sitting in her dorm room, it seems. And I want to say dorm room because this sort of looks like the bed I had in my dorm, but it could be her house. I mean, who knows? I mean, this seems pretty wholesome. I don't I don't know what I'm meant to be looking at here, but I feel like I say that every time and then I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, so I'm scanning. Okay. Okay, so there's this guy's face wedged in the corner of her bed, like just under her mattress and his face is just poking out. If that was me and I saw this photo afterwards, I would move directly out of that room, out of that house, do not pass go, do not collect 200, and just never look back. Of course, this is photoshopped, but I mean, I hope. Fingers crossed it's Photoshop, but that's just so creepy. Okay, at number five, we have a girl taking a selfie. Okay, 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 what is happening on the back window here? I feel bad, the selfie is actually pretty nice, but how did that guy even get there? I mean, what, what, why is he there? I have a lot of questions. He also looks like a demon, but he could also equally just look like he just fallen onto the window, or maybe he chose to jump onto it, I don't really know, but I'm surprised the girl didn't notice mid-picture. I mean, it looks like she was taking a selfie, so in a selfie, she she should have definitely seen the person behind her, but maybe she was doing it old school and just like turning the phone around. Who knows? But either way, she probably straight up screamed after checking the photos. Definitely not Instagram worthy. Okay, at number four, we have a really old school photo of some kind of group of girls. Maybe it's a, maybe it's actually a school photo. <laughs> I actually don't know. Literally nothing seems out of the ordinary at first glance, and it actually took me a very long time to figure out what was wrong with this picture. I know now, my eyes have been opened. It's actually this random hand on the girl's shoulder, the girl on the far right. I thought the hand was from the girl behind her. Her arms are actually crossed, so it's obviously not her hands. And then I just realized the girl with her hand on her shoulder just is not even looking at the camera. She's looking elsewhere on another vibe, on another level, with her decapitated hand ghost friend just not caring about what the hell is going on. Power to you, but also your ghost friends are creepy. Okay, at number three now, we have this picture that was apparently captured on a hospital CCTV camera. And the woman in the picture apparently died the same day this photo was taken, but I actually just don't see a woman on the bed. I mean, we have the massive dark figure on the bed. I mean, look at her limbs. Gender unknown, species unknown. It has like a massive bum that goes into its long legs. The feet don't even look like feet. They look like claw, hand, I don't know. I just don't know what to make of this. And the worst part is it doesn't even look photoshopped. That's the scary part. Maybe it's her spirit that's finally just released into the ether and that's what her spirit was. <laughs> Number two, we have a picture from someone's visitor camera outside their house. And this freaked me the hell out. I mean, what is up with this guy's eyes? I've actually seen this one before and apparently this is 100% real. So the guy who owns the house was basically asleep, but he kept getting notifications on his phone that the doorbell was detecting a visitor and he sees the footage the next day and sees this dude. Just imagine, you're sleeping in your house, safe and sound. No, no, no. Can you set the scene, have some creepy music in the background. You're sleeping, you have this guy wandering around 
around your door at god knows what hour of the night, probably crazy, probably could kill you, and you find this the next day. I'm shook. Last but not least, at number one, we have this very old family photo. And I say old because look at the women's hairstyles, that's very circa, I don't know, World War II. But how is this full on man hanging from the ceiling? He's so clearly there, how did they not notice him during the picture? And I'm sorry, even if he did magically fall from the ceiling at the exact moment this photo was taken, I have two questions. One, if he did fall, how did none of them see his body or anything up there beforehand? And two, if he fell during the photo, how did the camera not capture their reactions? Like, I would have cried. I don't want to say it's a ghost because the man's body looks so 3D and real and like, I feel like I could grab the man's belly, but it just doesn't look like an apparition. I feel like it's not Photoshop, I don't know what to believe, and I have no idea what is happening. Just like the case with all 10 photos. <laughs>